Whether you buy new tools, collect old tools, or make your own tools, there's no doubt about it, blacksmithing is a tool-intensive activity. And that means you have to have some way to store your tools. Now, a lot of people just use that ubiquitous five-gallon bucket, and we've all got some, and we've probably all done this. But I'll tell you what, this is a hard way to find what you're looking for. There it is. Personally, I think with a little imagination and ingenuity, we can do a lot better than that for storing tools. So let's take a look around my shop and see some of the tool storage. It's an ever-evolving process, and what I'm using today might not look the same a week from now, but I do have some idea where most of my tools are. Now, my most used hammers and other tools that I might be working with on the current project, I put on this little shelf next to the anvil. This will swing out of the way, and it's easy to just lift up out of the way as well, so I can take it off if I've got a striker, or if I'm doing a demo, or whatever other reason it shouldn't be there. I can just take it off and put it in a corner for the day, and then put it back later. Now when I built my anvil stand, it's got a little bit of an offset in it, and I can put a couple of hardy tools. I keep a cone mandrel, and my cutoff hardy right here next to the anvil, and that's a really handy place to have those. Other commonly used tools, punches, chisels, things like that, that get used regularly here at the anvil, are right on the side of the anvil block. And again, a lot of these are not all of the tools in any one category. They're just the ones that get used the most that are right here at the anvil or at the forge. Like my most used tongs, are on this rack at the end of the forge. I know that the ones I use 90% of the time are right here. Lots of other tongs in the shop. Some of them are stored in here, some of them are in a shed or shipping container, because I almost never need them, but there's stuff out there too. The next closest tool storage is on the back wall of the shop here. And this rack is kind of organized around hammers and tongs. It's just welded up out of common structural steel, angle iron, flat bars, just whatever happened to be on hand when I made it. My most used guillotine tool lives down here, as well as various jigs, hardy tools, and other things that I've made that just happen to fit there nicely. Then there's this tool cabinet. It's full of all sorts of handheld tools. Punches, chisels, detail carving tools, figure carving tools, hinge eye drifts, big drifts, axe drifts, hammer drifts, all of that kind of stuff lives in here. And it's got lots of stuff in it, it's just built up out of plywood and regular construction type lumber, nothing special. Although at one point, I just had store-bought handles on there, and some of my viewers complain. So I told them, if they don't like them, send me a handle, I'll put it on the chest. Enough people sent handles that now I have nothing but hand-forged handles, all from people watching the videos. So now it's something really special. Those bottom three drawers are nothing but drifts. Most of them have been shop made. On the back wall by the little giant, I've got some power hammer tools on hooks. I've got a rack that holds some punches, swedges, fullers, things like that. Things that don't get used real often in the shop. And of course, down low, there are more tongs. And there are even more tongs over here on the wall next to the little giant. And over here next to the Samac power hammer on this post, I've got some of my most used fullers and flatters, things like that, that mostly get used under the flat dies that I use in the Samac most of the time. And the same is true over by the treadle hammer, tools that mostly get used at the treadle hammer. Some chisels and flatters, set hammer, fullers, special dies for the treadle hammer, all live next to the treadle hammer. And there's still more tools hanging from a beam on the other side of the coal forge. Really, in a small shop, tools end up being all over the place. But I find by trying to keep them a little bit organized based on where they're going to be used, treadle hammer tools with the treadle hammer, power hammer tools with the power hammer, 
most used anvil tools right here. I tend to be able to find the tools I need rather quickly. Unless, of course, it's that tool you had in your hand five minutes ago. You can never find that one. I'm not saying my ideas are the best. They're just my ideas. If you've got better ideas, by all means, use the ideas you've got. But if not, and you're just looking for some ideas, feel free to adapt any of this to what you need in your shop. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. It costs absolutely nothing to subscribe to a YouTube channel. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.